Evelyn was kind enough to send in an email asking me to clarify why I'm such a big advocate of Epsom salt baths. If you're not familiar with Epsom salt, it's a very powerful mineral. You guys can go to your grocery store and you can buy a bag of Epsom salt and pour yourself a nice warm, not scolding, but pour yourself a nice warm bath and drop some of that Epsom salt in there. The theory behind it is your body is going to absorb the magnesium through the skin through the, while you're sitting in the water. Now I want you to think about the, the mineral magnesium. Very, very powerful. It has three, excuse me, it has over 300 biochemical reactors with the brain to create relaxation. Think about how powerful that is. So when you're somebody who's under a lot of stress, it's been proven that magnesium will help your body deal with stress. It's, magnesium plays a significant role in dealing with stress. It also plays a significant role in a neurocommunication, literally at a neuromuscular. So if you're finding yourself being on edge, magnesium deficiency can cause you to have that feeling of nervousness, jitterness. Give that a shot. Whoever would have thought that Epsom salt could cause, or excuse me, could help alleviate some of the negative byproducts associated with stress. When we move into the realm of athleticism, this is really cool because magnesium plays a significant role in actually facilitating getting glucose, stored sugar, to the brain. Remember, your brain is fed sugar from the liver. So magnesium plays a significant role in that. Magnesium plays a significant role in regards to getting glucose into the muscles. Two things that are absolutely imperative for, muscle, for athletic performance. When we look at inflammation and swelling, especially for those of you that have had some bone injuries, maybe a little bit of arthritis, magnesium has been proven that if you are running deficient on that, you're gonna run into even more discomfort so the magnesium alleviates that type of arthritic joint pain. If you're somebody that's using this post-athletic, think about it. It's almost like glucosamose, glucosamine and chondroitin, excuse me, where you're sitting in an Epsom salt bath, you're gonna get the relaxation, so you're gonna sleep better. It has a benefit of getting glucose to the brain and the muscles, win-win. It has the ability to help with achy joints, and it has an anti-inflammatory. Think about the characteristics of that. So if you just came off of a big workout, if you came off of a long day at work, if you came off of a long day of racing or uh, a hard race, Look at all these multiple benefits associated with one little mineral, magnesium, of which you can get from an Epsom salt bath. The last thing that I want to get, leave you with, it's not the most enjoyable to talk about, but if you are struggling with constipation, and we do see athletes that struggle with constipation when they're on the road, your body gets into a mode of stress and you're not able to use the restroom, magnesium through an Epsom salt bath has had a positive effect on reducing the symptoms associated with constipation. And of course, if you go too extreme with it, you could end up with loose bowels. So you want to definitely test this before you use it before a big race. So I know a lot of people are a little trepidatious to sit in a bath, but I would encourage you, if you understand the benefits of magnesium and you're willing to really listen to the multiple benefits, where, where can you go wrong? Next time you get a chance, ease into that Epsom salt bath, enjoy all the multiple benefits, if you're and while you're in the warm bath, the muscles have started to relax because of the warm moisture. Moist, moist heat permeates a muscle tissue, which makes it receptive to stretching. So while you're in there, you could do single legged, excuse me, single muscle isolated stretches. The list of benefits just keeps going on and on. So next time you have a few extra minutes, take the time, use an Epsom salt bath. You can't go wrong with it. Thank you so much for the question. And if you happen to have one, could be a question that you want. Uh, clarification on. It could be a frustration you've been dealing with. Me and my team, our goal is to do, a, excuse me, is to answer a question a day here on our Coach Rob YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe, spread the news. We're here every single day. You can send your question into contact at coachrob.com. And as I mentioned, we'll be here again tomorrow. Thank you for time watch, excuse me, thank you for your time watching this video. And we look forward to seeing you again tomorrow.